In the Sky Podcast, on today's episode, we have Carlo Anthony. Introduce yourself a little bit, man. What are you about? Man, uh, just hanging out, making music, hanging out with my friends and shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, how old are you? I'm 19. 19. I turned 20 in uh, July. That's dope. That's dope. And where are you from? I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay. Now, you say you live out on the West Coast. How'd that come about? Uh, right when I graduated high school, I just knew I didn't want to be in Michigan anymore, so I moved out to L.A. What was that like for you, like the transition? It was pretty easy. I mean, I knew, like, I, kn- I, like, knew people out here before I moved, so that, like, helped, and just, like, having friends to, like, hang out with, and then just meeting new people, so it was, it's fun, I don't regret it one bit. Now, what was your upbringing like back in Michigan, <clears throat> what made you, like, kind of despise it so much? Um, I mean, it was good upbringing, like, good childhood shit, never really had a problem with anything or, like, had a struggle. It's just I liked making music and knew I uh, always wanted to make music and, like, make a career out of it. So I figured to move here, and it's been working so far. So when was the first time you realized that music was kind of a thing for you? How did you get introduced into it? I knew I loved music and, like, wanted to make music just by, like, listening to music. And, like... Cause like I started making music, like writing music, when I was in like fourth grade, like off like Lil Wayne instrumentals. Hell yeah! So like I knew like I wanted to make music, and I just from just like being a fan of it, you know. Who would you say some of your favorite rappers are? Probably like your influence. You know, like you know the the same shit like Kanye, Cudi. I throw a little Aaron in my top five for real. Hell yeah, I fuck with Lil Aaron. Aaron top five, and then like, yeah, I guess just like Kanye, Travis, I really like Nirvana and shit like that, but I don't know. As of recently, I've been listening to a lot of like Zan Man and like Quaddy Diesel. Never heard of them. It sounds interesting really? though. No. Does, like, Lil, uh, does Zan Man have any association with like Lil Zan? No, nah, he's a uh, he's from the DMV. Okay, I fuck it's with like, that. It's like, are you uh, familiar with like, any DMV artists? Um, fucking Shy Glizzy, right? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. But there's like this whole new wave of just like the most fire artists, and like, they're all from DMV. So I've been listening to, like all of them. Fuck yeah, you gotta you gotta send me that shit, bro. I will fuck with that because I'm more of an East Coast kind of guy. Like, I mean, West Coast vibes are cool and all, but like. Yeah. As far as it really goes, like, I mean, I live in the East, so I guess that's what I'm going to gravitate oh, where? towards. Oh, Kentucky. I live in Kentucky right now. That's fire. <laughs> it's something. No, um, I love, like, all kinds of music. I've been, like, really into, like, older, like, kind of, like, EDM techno shit. Like, I've been listening to, like, Satisfaction by like, Benny Bozzi and, like, um, fucking, like, Fly Like a G6. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think all that shit is like really sick and like Black Eyed Peas they're definitely my top so, five too like Black Eyed Peas and shit like that so what really pushed you to move from Michigan to LA uh, it's like I really just didn't have any music friends at all like my friends are um like, my boys, like, Reese and Jordan and shit like that, they're all just, like, the homies and, like, kids I go to school with, but, like, they're all in, like, college, like, doing other shit, and I knew, like, if I just want to make music, I just need to be around people who, like, think the same way as me and shit like that, so I just knew, like, they wouldn't have helped me, and then... Okay, so, how'd you get connected with your, your like, your music buddies, quote-unquote? Well, um... The first, my first and only friend in LA was Aaron, little Aaron, and um, like I met, like I came out to LA, met him, and then I uh, met 
like his roommates, which was like Cyberspace, John Pontiac, like Connor, and like just shit like that. And I met them through Aaron. And then when I moved here, I was already friends with them. Became closer to them. And then just then like all my internet friends were like, hey, I'm in LA. Like then that's when I'd link with them. You feel me? But I met every one of my friends through like Aaron and shit. So that's how I know. Like my closest friends. Fuck yeah, Lil Aaron's dope, bro. I fuck with him heavy. Yeah, me too. For real, for real. He's uh, a good guy. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't, I don't know him, so I can't really, you know what I mean? No, like, he's cool, yeah. Just from what I've seen, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's cool as um, fuck. So, what came first? Um, you rapping or you producing or kind of both? Rapping. It started, I started writing like, just like some bullshit ass raps in like elementary school. Cause so it was like third, fourth grade, and fifth grade, and then I would like have like all these like friends and shit that like were like in the music already, like doing shows, like in this like at the time like they're like big artists to me, and I'd like show them like my music just like in the city and stuff, and someone said just wait until you get older to start rapping like the voice and shit and just annoy people, so then I just hopped into producing in like sixth grade and just been making like i started off making like edm shit so you so you jumped from like the rap scene to like edm beats and then so and then at that time did you give up rapping completely no i just like forgot about it because of how much i love producing you know what i mean yeah yeah so from that what happened with that Mm-hmm. What'd you say? Like, like after the EDM beats, how this evolved into you making like hip hop beats? It was just like finding an in between. So like the first of my music was like heavy like EDM sounds and shit like that. I like under like I don't know. It's like hard to say because like I stayed as Carlo Anthony for like everything, but there's just like different like eras of like music I made. And like towards like the beginning of me like taking it really serious. It was, like, EDM sounds and shit. But, like, with, like, 808s and stuff like that. And that was, like, 2014, 15. Because I was, like, 15 or 16. Now, did you always take it really serious? Or was there a point where, like, I'm going to dedicate my life to this? I always, honestly, ever since, like, a really little kid, I've always taken music extremely serious. And I, like, started off in, like, 6th grade, 7th grade, like, extremely serious. Like, just taking it, like... And then I realized, like, no one else takes it that serious. Like, the people I'm trying to, you know, fuck with me. I realized, like, they don't care as much as I do. So then I kind of just been, like, mixing, like, different kinds of ideas and shit together. Because so I just realized no one gives a fuck. Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> it's the realest thing I've heard all day. Like, instead of artists, like, making a beat and just putting it on social media, you know, and then just, like, not doing shit for the rest of the day. You know, I feel like, like, I personally don't give a fuck when, like, other artists do that, so I feel like, no, I'm gonna give a fuck. So I've just been working. Hell yeah, like, stacking shit up. Do you sell beats? I do, actually, but, like, all the times I, like, produce for, like, my friends and, like, artists and, like, Phrase, mainly Phrase. You know who Phrase is? No, no. He is, he's, he's going crazy right now. He's on, he's in Europe on tour with uh, Lil Nar in Germ. Damn. Yeah, he's going crazy. But that's my roommate. So when whenever whenever I make a fire ass beat, he's always the first to hop on it. So like all the all the homies get like the really close beats and then I get like some leftover beats that like I send for artists, but I feel like it's not my hardest work, which is okay. Yeah. You know? So so how it really goes for you is that like well obviously like you're um your circle, would you call it, like, are guys with a lot of, like, notoriety in the scene and whatnot. So whenever you make a beat, they come to that beat, and then whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah basically. That's exact. yeah, that's exactly it. Hell yeah. That's fucking dope, though. You know, it's not bad for you by no. any means. And I enjoy it. Like, Phrase is one of my favorite artists. I uh, haven't really worked production-wise for Aaron. But... Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, your but, um, tag is fire though. 
the I love you, Carla. Yeah, yeah, that's fire. <laughs> Thank you. That's what made me think. Like, is this guy like a serious, serious producer? That's why I had to ask you about the rapping, and then which one came first. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I'm like super serious about both. So whatever, whatever, uh, just works out, I guess. I'm I'm gonna do both regardless. It's just what people like from it. People like me for my beats, and I'm okay with it. People like me for like the voice shit, and I'm perfectly okay with that. I mean, regardless, like, you got a good circle around you, so as long as, like, no fuck shit happens, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't really speak on it. No, but, I agree. Um, so, are your parents very supportive of, like, your rap career and what you're doing? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. Fuck yeah, that's good. That's always good to have, like, your parents supporting you and shit. Even Mainly though a lot my of people's mom. parents. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah my mom. My mom fucked with it. Because she's the one who put me on, like, Justin Timberlake. Kanye, Will I Am, like shit like that, like Jay Z. So she's the one who like put me on like Lil Wayne in like second and third grade, you know. So that's cool. My mom never put me on that type of shit. She was always yeah. like Dixie Chicks type shit. I feel you. Yeah, my dad uh, does like guitar shit, so it's like all the. I grew up on like all the blues people or whatever, but uh, hip hop's just cooler. That shit don't get you no bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't know country music. A lot of bitches like that kind like no no blues 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 oh, like oh oh I mean you never know man I do know that man my dad got no bitches <laughs> he got your mom right <laughs> that shit don't count <laughs> <laughs> it don't count <laughs> um where do you want to take this music stuff like you know what are your aspirations why do you do it besides I'm, just your love <clears throat> like. I know, like, because, like, I've been making music for, like, 12, 12 years, like, 10, 12 years, just, like, on and off, like, and shit, so, like, I know for the rest of my life, I'm, like, always gonna make music, and music will always be there, so, like, during, like, my free time of not making music, I would try to, like, think of, like, ideas and ways to, like, have, like, a platform of just, like, I don't know, of just, like, different shit, of, like, it's not, like, a media company, it's just more of, like, like, putting people in the right places to do stuff, because I believe in their taste, like, have, like, a guy who starts doing music videos and shit like that. Just, like, build, like, a big-ass team. Just fuck shit up. Hell yeah. You got a similar vision to me, you know? It's yeah, like, yeah. These kinds of things can open up doors to God knows what. That's mm-hmm. crazy, what's crazy about it. Yeah. So, what inspires a lot of your music? Uh, fuck. Really just inspires shit. I guess, like, really underground music. I spend, like, hours, like, on days just, like, going through, like, a shit ton of, like, related music and just, like, weird different SoundCloud songs. So I just, like, try to hear as many different new ideas as I can. Just, like, see what I like about shit. But I always try to have, like, a... Sort of like a upbeat kind of vibe. Like I really just like making like slow music. Okay. But yeah. But other than that, that's where yeah, I find I can my inspiration. Tell, like you not liking the slow pace because like all your favorite artists like Kanye, Jay Z, Lil Wayne, and guys yeah. that have really made that. I mean they did, but not often. Yeah. Yeah, I love like slow music though. It's like, great. Mm-hmm. My favorite I was just shit. saying for just like shit I like to make and shit I think I'm good at making. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so what would you say your recording process is? Like what are some of the things you oh, do to get to the mood? My recording process is I always start out with like a beat and I like make the beat if I like it and like I, I just keep making beats until I make a beat that like something comes to my head and I know like it's like a good sign that's a good song. If, like if I just start like flowing out like random ass lyrics, so then I just record on like the melody or like whatever part I like hear that like hook in my head or something, and then I'll record and then finish the beat. Yeah, like I have a song called uh, "Shut the Fuck Up." 
<laughs> STFU. And I recorded that whole song on just the, just the, uh, like melody, like the little bells. Then I added all the 808s and shit. That's fucking crazy. See, this shit yeah, it's, is like mind it's a pretty, to me. It's a, it, that's actually a really popular, uh, method. Like I've been hearing a lot of artists do that. As far as like producers, who are some of your biggest inspirations? Uh, production wise, uh, like Kanye, Swiss, Mike Dean, uh, Gizen, that's a homie. Um, shit. Uh, I really do like Travis's production style. Jay Dilla, all of them. It's very really hard dope. to, it's hard for me to find, like, a producer that I think is, like, bad. Cause I usually, like, see, like, where they're coming from and shit. Like, I just think it's all, like, different tastes and stuff. Like, I don't think anyone's, like, bad, you know? Oh, yeah. Beauty's always in, like, the eye of the beholder. That's, like, one of the main things yeah. I always try to live by. Yeah, yeah, same. Is it in, like, in a weird sense, like, everybody's beautiful and, Everything everybody creates yeah. is good because it was good enough to them. Like, yeah, bro, that's my whole thing. That's like my whole thing. But personally, you still are like entitled to not like shit. Yeah, obviously. Like, I fucking hate like Hobson and like shit like that. <laughs> like, all that. Don't you like yeah. Hobson? All that shit's whack. Like reggae, that shit's whack. I I think like dubstep is like pretty fucking trash now. But like. What? But, like, when I say ED, like, there, it's different. Like, dubstep is fucking, like, trash to me. There's a shit ton of stuff I, like, hate. Like, I don't really fuck with, like, the YBN people at all. Like, you know? But, like, I can see the appeal, and I, like, give them credit, because they're doing more than me. You feel me? Yeah. They just so get not, famous off, like, memes and shit, though. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, like, respect to them. Like, I'm not going to hate. Like, I yeah, see exactly. the appeal. But, Everybody but just fuck. famous off memes. True. That's all it takes, one meme. Like, you could go from a thousand to, like, millions. It's crazy. Hell yeah. And, like, a long time ago, it's weird if you ever think about, like, how people promote their music now versus how people promote their music. Like, not even 20 years ago, like, they would run around the streets and shit and just hand out mixtapes. Yeah. This, that, and the other. Promote DJs. I mean, they still do the DJs, but the whole, like, on foot is really non-existent nowadays. Yeah, well, I mean, the, I, I, it's like a fucking huge ass industry. Like shit's gonna change, so then your like marketing schemes and everything else needs to change as well. You it's know, like, it's mind boggling what the internet does to shit. Yeah, yeah. What it's done to everything. But so it interests me you moving from like one of the most cold like places in the United States to like you know the nicest in my opinion like what was that like for you um it was well uh, michigan has uh really nice summers so it basically just feels like summer all year which is sick you know what i mean so like it feels like a michigan summer like no uh, not it, it's like it's perfect it's like certain days in like the spring or fall that it gets like perfect weather like where it's like not too hot and it's like nice breeze that's how it feels like most days here in la hell yeah what's some of the craziest shit you've seen in la or like the most different shit that people do out there but, um shit man people are just fucking crazy no one really like uh, i think it's just crazy on how like people like see themselves and you can, like, tell, because, like, in, like, in Michigan, if, like, someone considers their, so their self, like, to be, like, a party person or, like, someone who gets, like, fucked up, they'd still have, like, a normal, like, a normal fucking life and shit. And then at nighttime, they'll go out and just, like, party and shit. But here, it's, like, if you're about something, you're, like, about it, like, 100%, you know? Oh, so the motherfuckers are like non-stop partiers type shit. Uh, I mean, yeah, that was like one example. It could have been a bad example, but like, or if like someone makes music, you see them in like Michigan, like they really don't, they're not like really about it. Like they're not really Any like, edu edu 
Yeah, just show, they're not like really serious about it. Like here in LA, or like everyone I've met at least is just like really about their shit, and like it's the only shit we like talk about and like care about, and so what makes us friends. I didn't really feel that in Michigan at all. Okay, so um, are there any like messages or just like something you want to convey to the audience? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's like just do whatever you want and just find ways for it to work I guess fuck it we all gonna di- we all gonna die it's true we are all gonna die um okay. any shout outs you wanna give to anybody yeah uh shout out to uh Eric North and like Terror John Pontiac YB Daisy Stone all my bitches <laughs> Oh yeah. Thank you for listening to the In Sky Podcast and thank you Carlo Anthony for coming on man. It's awesome having you. Gang.